Well, hey friends, this morning I am making puppy chow. So this is a super fun and yummy recipe. It's very, very easy. And I'm just going to tell you how I'm making it really quick. So I have actually combined two boxes of Chex cereal. I have done one box of chocolate Chex and then one box of rice Chex. You could use any Chex that you want. I just thought uh, the chocolate sounded good. I had initially just planned to use rice. I'm actually doubling the recipe, so you really only need one box of cereal. And then here in my pan, I have got uh, peanut butter, butter, and chocolate chips. I will leave the exact measurements down below, and then you're just going to want to put it on a low heat and melt together. You could do this in a microwave. I don't have a microwave, so I'm just doing it here on the stove. And what you want to do is you want to put your cereal into a large bowl. I have this really giant uh, mixing bowl, and I put both packages of cereal in here. Again, I am doubling the recipe. And then so you're going to get your um, ingredients all melted here and then you're going to pour it over your cereal and coat all of the cereal with the chocolate peanut butter mixture. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your icing sugar, so this is powdered sugar, we call it icing sugar here in Canada. Um, you're going to take this and you're going to pour some into a uh, large plastic uh, bag like a freezer bag uh, and then you're going to dump your cereal into the bag with the powdered sugar and you're going to coat it and I'll show you that process once I get there uh, but that is a heads up of what you are going to do and again I'll probably have to do that um, a couple different times just because I've doubled the recipe And this is what it will look like once everything is nice and coated. It takes just a few minutes to stir. And so here it is in the bag, and then you are just going to want to toss the coat. This is going to be a whole lot easier with two hands. And this is what everything will look like once it is all done and coated. It took just a couple minutes to make sure that all the cereal was coated in the icing sugar. I transferred it into a clean uh, gallon Ziploc bag. And I'm going to store this in the freezer. We're making this recipe to go with us to camp. And camp is like a cottage and as well as an RV. So we will actually be indoors. However, I don't want uh, everything to melt, so I'm going to just keep it in the fridge, and I put it in these uh, Ziploc bags for flat packing, so it will take up less space. 